you, you know, a lot of people are talking plagiarism now after national reports showed striking similarities in Melania Trump's speech last night and Michelle Obama's 2008 speech. New at 6, WSBT 22's Suzanne Spencer is here, and Suzanne, local experts weighing in on this conversation. Many of us are familiar with plagiarism at an academic level, and in some cases you could be punished or expelled, but what happens when it's on the stage of the Republican convention with millions of people watching? You work hard for what you want in life, that your word is your bond, that you do what you say you're going to do. That you work hard for what you want in life that your word is your bond, and you do what you say. It's these comments and others made by Melania Trump that some say plagiarize First Lady Michelle Obama's from 2008. It has to be. There's no possible explanation for the exact phrases being used in two speeches except for intentional incorporation of those words. Susan Bloom specializes in the study of plagiarism at the University of Notre Dame. In ordinary life, we are quoting all the time, and nobody's expected to walk around with quotation marks and attribution and references and footnotes and things like that. She says there's plagiarism that's intentional, some that's inadvertent, and some types like copy and paste plagiarism. But doing it on a national platform has its risks. A speech given by a prominent person, such as uh, Michelle Obama, is considered to have a certain kind of stature. And so if somebody disregards that stature, then you have to wonder what it is that they are saying. Political expert and journalism professor Jack Caldwell says a small portion or the whole thing, it may not matter. He says Trump's final speech could outweigh this incident altogether. If this is just one thing that's not repeated, and if, if he in that final speech just hits a home run, uh, he'll get a big bump still in uh, the polls and probably take uh, a lead uh, over Hillary Clinton. Several experts cited Joe Biden as another example of how plagiarism has impacted a presidential campaign. His run virtually ended after some claim his admission of plagiarism hurt his campaign. Jennifer. Suzanne, thank you. Our live reports from the convention continue tonight at 11. Patrick will be looking at why Indiana delegates think Mike Pence can help unify the party, as he mentioned. And don't forget our convention special called Your Voice, Your Future. That's tonight at 7 on SBT2 and WSBT.com. We are also live streaming events all week long on our website and on our WSBT22 News app.